Pollinator gardens are essential for helping to protect our declining bee populations and today I'm going to show you how to make one of your own. Picking a place for your garden to live and thrive is the first step in this process. For my garden, I'm going to be using a large pot that I found at Dollar Tree, but they can also be made directly in the ground. Obviously, the plants you choose are the most important part of creating a pollinator garden, and the decisions on which type of plants that will go into the garden are crucial. You can either choose to start your plants from seeds or starters, which are already sprouted plants. The last step in this process is to assemble your garden. Since mine is in a pot, I will be using soil bought from the store, but if you're making one in the ground, then be sure to till or break up your soil before planting. The next thing to do is to plant your plants and watch them grow and bloom. Your garden is now complete. By creating a pollinator garden, you are not only creating something beautiful for your yard, but you are also helping to protect and conserve the declining bee populations in our world and other pollinators that will come to visit and feed on your flowers.